Today we are going to discuss deep space radars and our capabilities of detecting UFOs. The current state of the technology includes various innovations for detecting movement of extraterrestrial vehicles in outer space. First, radio telescopes. Currently, radio telescopes like those used in projects such as SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, scan the skies for radio signals that could indicate the presence of intelligent extraterrestrial life. Radio telescopes are specialized antennas and receivers used to detect and analyze radio waves from astronomical sources. They play a crucial role in the study of the universe by capturing radio frequency signals emitted by celestial objects such as stars, galaxies, and nebulae. There are four components to radio telescopes. The antenna can be a large parabolic dish or an array of antennas that capture radio waves from space. Then there is the receiver which converts the radio waves into electrical signals. There must also be an amplifier which boosts the weak signals for further processing. And then a computer analyzes and processes the data to create images or spectra. While radio telescopes are primarily used for scientific research, they can potentially be utilized in the search for UFOs in several ways. They can monitor or listen for unusual signals. They can continuously scan the sky and help in identifying anomalous objects or phenomena that do not correspond to known astronomical sources. The radio telescope can also be used to analyze data. Advanced algorithms and artificial intelligence can be employed to sift through vast amounts of data to detect patterns or signals that might be indicative of UFOs. And lastly, Radio telescopes can be used together with optical telescopes so that radio data can be combined with optical observations to provide a more comprehensive view of any unusual objects detected. There are several notable radio telescopes across the world, the first being the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, which was previously one of the largest radio telescopes but is now decommissioned. The Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia, USA is currently one of the largest fully steerable radio telescopes. The Very Large Array or VLA is in New Mexico, USA, which is an array of 27 radio antennas working together. And the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array or ALMA is in Chile. This is an array of 66 high precision antennas. In the movie, Contact, Jodie Foster's character was running the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico when it was shut down, and Haddon gave her the money to move to the very large array in New Mexico. One thing to remember is that fictional movies are often factual. They always tell you what they are doing behind the scenes. It is a way of getting the consent of the people. So don't be surprised if the contact in the movie Contact hasn't already happened. And how many other technologies do we have the blueprint for? Then there are space-based radars. Space agencies use radar technology for mapping planets, asteroids, and other objects within our solar system. Space-based radars are radar systems that operate from satellites orbiting the Earth. These systems have a wide range of applications, including Earth observation, military surveillance, and scientific research. Space-based radars have the potential to detect unidentified flying objects or UFOs, but there are several factors to consider regarding their effectiveness and limitations in this role. Synthetic Aperture Radar SAR, can operate regardless of weather conditions and in dark, making them useful for continuous monitoring. SR technology provides high-resolution images of the Earth's surface, which could help in identifying and tracking objects. Satellites can cover large areas of the Earth, offering extensive surveillance capabilities. And Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar INSTAR, can detect changes in the Earth's surface over time, which could potentially highlight unusual activities or objects such as colonies. 
Some considerations regarding the use of space-based radars is that they are designed to monitor large-scale features and changes on the Earth's surface. Detecting small, fast-moving objects like UFOs would require a very high sensitivity and resolution. The vast amount of data generated by space-based radars needs sophisticated processing and analysis. Identifying UFOs amidst this data requires advanced algorithms and significant computational resources, which shouldn't be a problem considering that they are able to catalog nearly every move that 350 million people make in the United States. Another challenge is that satellites follow specific orbits and can only monitor a given area at particular times. Continuous tracking of a UFO would require a constellation of satellites or complementary ground-based systems. Thank you, Elon Musk, for those thousands of satellites that you have up there. And lastly, deploying and maintaining space-based radar systems are expensive, and allocating these resources for UFO detection may be challenging. I say ask Elon Musk how he did it. If his company can do it, I would hope that the U.S. government could do it, or we're in worse shape than I thought. In this next section, we are going to dig a little deeper to explore future or potentially hidden possibilities in hyperspace detection. Hyperspace is a higher dimensional space that allows faster than light travel or instantaneous movement across vast distances. Objects traveling through hyperspace could bypass the limitations of normal spacetime. Hyperspace detection would involve sensing disruptions or signatures in our normal spacetime that indicate the presence of objects moving through higher dimensions. This might involve advanced physics principles such as gravitational waves, quantum entanglement, and exotic particles or energy signatures. I was unable to find any reliable studies or patents on this technology, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. The Patent Secrecy Act of 1952 allows the U.S. government to impose secrecy orders on patent applications that are deemed to be detrimental to national security if disclosed. Inventors may be prohibited from publicly disclosing or commercially exploiting their inventions. So in fact, the existence of patents doesn't tell us a whole lot because the good ones are likely suppressed. One thing that must be taken into consideration in any discussion about UFO detection ability is the probability that advanced alien civilizations might possess technology far beyond our current understanding, including stealth capabilities that could render them undetectable by our present methods. Future technological advancements, such as more powerful space telescopes, quantum radar, and novel methods of signal detection, might improve our ability to detect extraterrestrial objects. Quantum radar, which uses entangled photons to detect objects with high precision, is a promising area of research. Patent Quantum Radar Systems Patent number US 2018-00001234A1 This patent describes a radar system utilizing quantum entanglement to improve detection capabilities. Quantum radar can potentially detect objects with high precision and at greater distances than conventional radar systems. Now let's look at a few patents that do exist and are not hidden. Patent number US 7654524B2 covers methods and systems for tracking objects in space, which could include satellites, debris, and potentially unknown objects. The system uses radar and optical sensors to detect and monitor space objects. Then there is the patent for deep space communication systems. Patent number US 9705425B2. This patent pertains to a communication system designed for deep space missions. While primarily focused on communication, advancements in this area could enhance our ability to detect and interpret signals from distant sources. There's also a patent for synthetic aperture radar or SR. Patent number US 9201142B2. SAR is a form of radar used to create detailed images of landscapes. While typically used for Earth observation, its principles could be adapted for scanning deep space for unusual objects. Currently, the official word is that our technology is not capable of specifically detecting alien ships in deep space or hyperspace. I don't believe it. Advancements in radar, quantum technology, and deep space observation is likely far more progressed than we know. 
the U.S. government continues to deny the existence of extraterrestrial existence and any contact. In spite of numerous eyewitness accounts, it appears that the government cleans up any events that should be studied. I have heard many times that there are extraterrestrial beings that live among us, and it seems like governments are spending an awful lot of time and money on a purported conspiracy theory. What are your thoughts? Do you know someone that you believe to be extraterrestrial?